might think the chances of things getting any more exciting are impossible without altering the basic laws of physics, Vic. Yeah, I would consider that something of an understatement, actually. Well, we're about to kick it up a notch. And what notch are we at at the moment? Oh, uh, five. Well, get ready to kick it up to 90 to celebrate 90 years of LEGO play. There are a couple of very, very, very special things that are about to occur. That was a lot of varies, mate. It was three. A lot of varies. In a few moments, we have something truly extraordinary you'll be seeing for the first time, which may or may not have something to do with this person here. Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. Where did you come from? He's actually a knight of uh, very few words. He doesn't talk, now. What's your name? I, I said he's, he's not going to Yeah, you're right. Okay, but first, get ready to meet a very special LEGO fan and a rather extraordinary LEGO set that celebrates 90 years of play and might be familiar to a few adult fans of LEGO bricks. Yeah, check this out. This is amazing. Today, we're reuniting adult fans with the set from their childhood and hopefully sparking great memories of the people they played with, too. Fans like Kat, who's been building with her siblings for decades. It's bright and early. I've got the Lego set with me. I am super excited to get to show it to Kat. She has no idea what we're about to show her. We know her family have been huge Lego fans since childhood, but they've been separated for a really long time. So today, we're gonna change that. My siblings do not know what I'm doing today. They get to find out with everyone else. I'm a little bit nervous to show Kat this new model, but I'm also really excited. Hello. Oh, hey. Hey, Kat. This Welcome. is amazing. It's almost like my home from childhood. I think that most people either had a room like this or their friends had a room like yeah. this. We are about to celebrate the 90th anniversary of LEGO Play, and we've made something really special to celebrate that, and I wanted you to be one of the first people to see it. OK, I'm excited. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, this is amazing. This is a complete reimagining of the Galaxy Explorer. We have things like the arrow that we built using bricks instead of using a decoration. Mm -hmm. Besides you, am I the first person to see this? Yeah, you're the first person to see this box outside of the LEGO Not factories. Anymore. What do you say? Are you ready to play? Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> when did you last build with your siblings? Not in a few years. My siblings are my best friends. Holidays, birthdays, we would always be asking for Lego sets. We've always stayed close, and I think that the Lego hobby has been a way to really maintain that. I live on the East Coast. My sister, my brother lives on the West Coast. What you would have is a, a family game night or a Sunday dinner, but it's on a video call, and it's usually about Lego bricks. I have two brothers, David and Tim. David was the one that really like made Lego bricks awesome to me. Dave lives in Atlanta and I live in Denmark. It's a little bit hard for us to see each other too often. So we're nearly finished here. What do you think, Kat? It's great. There it is, the Galaxy Explorer, 1.5 times bigger scaled up version. We've got all of our classic stuff. Let's just start with the back. We can see inside we have the little rover. Try that ramp function now. Come on, buddy. Awesome. And then it should just roll out. We have these thrusters here on the side built out of paint buckets. This is amazing. They have beds in here, and mm -hmm. that little cutout is so they can sleep in the beds with their air tanks on. We have the engines that can pop off, single-person speeders. I would like to say they're for scientific exploration. They yeah. go out, and then they get a sample from somewhere. If they forgot their lunch, they get on these and fly back. <laughs> We have that super detailed cockpit here. Two steering wheels instead of one. You can go ahead and put the four minifigures in the cockpit together. I think we only have two. I only no, see two. there should be four. Could could we get Cat's two missing pieces? Are you looking for these? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. This is my brother and sister. Yeah. Oh my what? goodness, you guys yeah. are here too. It's awesome. <laughs> There's a missing piece for you as well. Hey! hey. <laughs> this is my brother, Dave. Oh, man. Hey, hey Dave. I'm Dave. Great to meet you. Yeah. No. This is my dad. This is a good kind of mess to have. <laughs> <laughs> the more that you start to look into what is possible, you realize you could build absolutely anything you can imagine. Play is whatever you want it to be. 90th anniversary, that's a long time for a company to be around, and I really hope that I'm building with Lego bricks when I'm 90. Nice. 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 The Galaxy Explorer reimagined, isn't it? 
incredible the power that those old sets from childhood can have. Yeah, and I love that Michael made the new set bigger so adults would feel like a kid again when they hold yeah. it in their larger <laughs> hands. And guess what? Michael has designed this set so you can rebuild it in its original smaller form or something bigger like that or even bigger than that. There you go. Or you know what? You could just build something else completely. It's up to you. Yeah, and that's not all. Get ready as there's another huge reveal coming. I'm ready, McHale. Okay, here we go. To help us with the revealing, please welcome LEGO designers Michael and Ashwin. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome. Come on in. Hey, Thanks for having us. Wow. Uh, say hi to this guy. Yeah, he, does, he, doesn't, he doesn't speak. Um, <laughs> Michael, before we get into the reveal, we just saw you in the film there. It was, it was gorgeous. It was heartwarming. How did it feel when you realized what was happening? It was amazing. I, I was not expecting my brother to show up at all. I was a little bit nervous that he was going to tell about that time you broke my pirate ship and I cried for three mm. days. But it's, <laughs> well, you just told it now, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing that up. And no. now your house is a sitcom set. It's beautiful. <laughs> sort of. And Ashwin, uh, do you always travel with this level of protection? Yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit hot for him right now, but um, we, uh, we go uh, he's along paid. places. Yeah. <laughs> he's along places. Yeah. He's your bodyguard. Are we going to address why he's here, what he might be a clue to? Or? Yes. Well, yeah. So, so we, we actually asked LEGO fans to vote on what new set we should make to celebrate the 90th uh, anniversary of play. Um, and we saw the Galaxy Explorer already, but uh, myself, Ashwin, and another designer, Milan, we've been working on another set. It actually took us 90 years to make, and we have it here to show you under Wait, this box. Wait, so there's another one? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we're so excited. It's all over the Bay internet, Bay. Vic. What? Yeah. No. So should we... Uh... Let's do, yeah. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Do it here, night. here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. Look yes. at that. Oh. Right. Right. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Knight. Thanks. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. My word. This is intricate. It's next level. This is sensational. Michael, the, the Galaxy Explorer was inspired by an original set, but this castle, honestly, it looks like no Lego castle I have ever seen before. Can this be right? That's right, Vic. This is a brand new LEGO castle that's been inspired by the 44 years of LEGO castles that have come before it. So we've taken inspiration from the original Yellow Castle, we've taken inspiration from the Black Knight's Castle, from some of the old Forest Men sets, but then taken some of our own design cues to bring them all together into this one amazing new model. This is amazing from every angle. Yeah, should we have a little grand tour of it? Can yeah. you take us around? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Let's get Dot back out here. Let's go through this beautiful set. All right, yeah. So we start on, back here. Let's yeah start on the back. So we have like uh, everything that makes a castle. You know, we have the high walls. We have the keep over here. On this side, we have the working uh, water wheel. And if we go along the front, there are balconies everywhere. There are towers for the soldiers to to stand on. There are flags. There is even the land and the water. There is the bridge. Um, so yeah. There's a cow with a bird. <laughs> that yeah, is the best that's part. That's really important. And we can raise the drawbridge here. Indeed. So we just have a knob on the side for that. But we can also even open up the model action. Yes. Do yeah, it. Let's do yeah. it. There is even more in, inside. So we look at, look the at this. Yes. Now you can see all that. Interior. So on the front it now doubles up, but on the inside there is even more to see. We have an armory. We have the stables, we have the dungeon in the bottom. And if we go more towards the side, then we have the dining room. There are even little uh, references to old Lego sets. So there is someone playing with the iconic uh, Lego Yellow Castle. And if we go further down, there is like the kitchen where food is pre being prepared. And I was talking before about the working water uh, wheel and it's powering up the millstone over here. So. Yeah, a lot of different uh, story uh, starters to uh, to play with. Yeah, there's and just so fun. much detail crammed inside there. How do you get it all in? Well, we looked at a lot of old Lego castles, like I said. Um, Milan and I and Ashwin, we we all kind of agreed that one of the coolest ones was this castle called uh, the Black Knight's Castle. Um, so we we kind of like borrowed a lot of inspiration from that castle and the way the walls are placed and it all comes together. But Really, like from the beginning, we just had to start putting down one brick and go from there. And brick by brick, we ended up with something that's incredibly complex. What, and what about to play the tree with. on the uh, on this on that side of the castle? Yeah, so this is kind of inspired by a set from our childhood called Forestman's 
Camouflage Outpost, I think is the name. It was like this, this big rock that had a tree growing off of it and there was a secret base inside the rock. So we even have a door that's opening up over here. Oh, move night. And you can see, you can see when you build this one for yourself, but there's a, there's a little hidden cave in here where the forest men can go in and Very start cool. to sneak into the castle. How, how many bricks? <laughs> A lot, yeah. really. Forty-five hundred. <laughs> Forty-five thousand. Yeah. Incredible. Ashwin, can you point out some of the biggest surprises? Well, yeah, we have like a, a play feature over here. So, Mike, if you want to help me, so yeah, yeah. if we here, put put this guy in there. This guy, where's this guy? This guy. Oh, you had him. So, if we remove the lady of the castle, and we have this guy here trying to enter the castle, then yeah. and then we just drop the portcullis here. Come on, portcullis. There, there we go. And then we turn this knob here and we raise the drawbridge. And, and he is gone. <laughs> we can see that there he is. they fell into <laughs> back here. Into so the, the dungeon. dungeon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, there are just a lot of these these cool features and it's I think it's really cool to discover them for yourself when you when you have this castle. It's it's so amazing. How did you decide on the elements that you were gonna use from all the different uh, Lego, Lego builds there were of these castles? We, we really just looked at what were our favorites and what were some of the fan favorites. We knew that we wanted to have the Lion Knights as the main knights of this castle. And so we looked at what, what castles did they have in the past and could we like take things from those or improve on the designs that were there or make them bigger, or more impressive. Um, we also looked at real castles, like this drawbridge is actually based on this kind of crazy counterweight drawbridge that's a real thing apparently. We didn't just make it up for this. So <laughs> there's a lot of historical stuff, but also a lot of Lego history that comes in. That's, we think it's just a great way to celebrate 90 years of play. Very cool. And finally, which figure is your favorite? Which minifigure is your favorite? Well, for me, it's, it would be the lady of the lady of the castle. She has like all the new features that we could sneak into. She has her own shield, she has her own cape, she has her own gold helmet, and she even has a, a horse barding uh, that we reintroduced uh, for this castle. So she's really amazing, and she's ready to to lead the troops where where they need to go. Nice, Michael. Yeah, my favorite is this new wizard. Well, he's actually not a new wizard. This is Magisto, and he has his own beard. So his own beard. That's pretty cool. And you guys have beards, and so yeah. do I. <laughs> yeah. How old is Magisto? Well, we haven't seen him for almost 30 years, but we don't know how old he is. I hope he's 90 years old. That'd be great. That's, that would be great. Well, welcome back, Magisto, and just congratulations. This is incredible. I'm pretty sure you've made the day, if not the year, if not the lifetime of so many A4s out there. So thank you so much, Ashwin and Michael. Yeah, thanks yes, for thank you. Thanks, you guys. Brilliant. Thanks, Michael and Ashwin.